Time was September of 2019. I unboxed this guy right here, the Silver Radio Shack 12-259. Mine came from um, May of 2006. I unboxed this guy and set him up on video. I did not, unfortunately, did not unbox it on video, so I did not do that at the time. That same weekend, I got an SVR, and I don't know if it went off, but yeah. And then it came June of 2020. One year and one month later, Rising Storm 1 comes along. And the tuner had started to die. To the point where it will not decode anything. But I could still get it to decode in my window. But now it's to the point where that will not work either. Two years after that started happening. Actually, almost two years afterwards. It has not been two years since uh, Rising Storm 1. But yeah, um, I had a package. I have another package I was supposed to be arriving today, but it's still at Cincinnati's facility, so I doubt it's going to come here. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this one open and we'll set it up. Pretty certain if you can already guess what it is based off the fact that I've been talking about Silver 259. Sort of see it in there. So now I'm gonna pop that open too. This is any things to take you need. Oh my god. Kind of how do my tape as well? I can see the tape this time versus I usually can't see the tape. Oh, yeah, this one's in better shape than my silver one ever has been in. And that's kind of sad seeing that. Alright, here we are. A beige Radio Shack 12-259. It's from October of 2004, so it's about a couple, couple, almost a couple of years older than the uh, two five in my silver. So press all the buttons. I wish we could welcome service. Something that I hope I did not miss on the uh, silver one. It doesn't come with the bell clip, so I'll have to get the uh, one from the silver one when I go back to the apartment tomorrow to grab a few things for the Indiana trip. Hopefully my other one's here for then, oh, tomorrow, so uh, let's get some bats and power it up. Battery terminals are also in way better shape than my solar. Pretty much everything on here is better than solar. Alright, three, two, one. No six available. Well, that's a good sign so far. Temperature says it's 75 degrees in here, but it also just came from outside, so it's probably 75 degrees outside. Okay, I covered my hand on the speaker, because even though I'm in a setting where I can have things loud. Mid 50s. Sunday. Okay. Cloudy. Highs in the lower 80s. Sounds way better than my uh, silver as well. Alright, I want to turn on the volume. Sorry, I cannot deal. 16, slammer volume. I already have it on tone volume one. Siren. Same as the silver. Not all location. Signal reminder. Hold on, I think I'm getting it wrong. I do want my signal reminder, so why not? Yeah, it's kind of nostalgic to my uh, silver one. Yeah, screw alert reminder. That was kind of annoying. Alert mode. Do not want tone. Tone is annoying. We're right on channel 6. Temperature is Fahrenheit. Clock. It is 2.33 p.m.
actually it's 234 now. I'm gonna have everything on because this is gonna be one of my uh, like main portable radios as well. Does it show something different? No, it does not. So if I hit, no, uh, high wind warning. Okay, yeah, you can tell if it's tone off. He's good, he's good, he's good, he's good, he's good. 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 I worrying. worrying. Okay, I've already went through all this stuff. Watch. Should have went down this entire way. What was I doing? He's good. 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 Okay, here's him. Advisory. I'm gonna turn on the rarely toned stuff just to be for sure. Practice demo is almost never toned, so I'll have that one on. That's almost never toned. A lot of stuff is almost never toned, so I'll keep it on. Never even heard of that. Network notification message. I think that'd be rare. Um, periodic test is never toned, so... Oh well. Power Audit Advisory is already on. Never toned on here, but why not? Need him. Better weather statement's already on, but well, I'm not going to need that unless I'm in LWX land. I'm not going to need this guy unless it's uh, Paducah. Right. I mean, these are all rare, but just in case. And there's that. And we are finished there. In the upper 70s. Chance of rain, right. 50%. My area worked for it. Nope. A chance of showers. Alright. So this guy was up here in the window. Along with everybody else. I might actually put the silver up there. I just gotta be careful with it since I don't have any of the screws inside of it. When I took it apart previously. Oh, I'm just... that. Hold on, I gotta get the casing on the silver 259 to where it won't fly off on me. And I am doing a poor job at that. There we go. Right, I'm gonna go ahead and just sit all the handles back up here for the next time anything happens. If there's supposed to be anything. Actually, except for the, uh, except for the WXS7, because that'll be uh, going elsewhere. Because that actually has rubber on it, so it won't be going up there yet. Got him, we'll have space. We should have space for the other guy up here until he gets here. All right, here's a sneak peek at the new setup here. It's not complete, obviously, because KA3D8 is back there. I'll probably be going down there. And then, of course, I have one more guy come tomorrow, probably. Or maybe later today, if for some odd reason they'd bring another post office vehicle out of here. Because it's been sitting at Cincinnati's center since, like, yesterday, and it was processed just this morning after 17 hours. I don't know why. But, yeah, um... So, there's that. I'm probably going to plug in a, uh... My EAR10's cable into it. So, 
because that's a six full power adapter and this is what that's what this guy takes so uh, yeah i'm gonna do that and i will see you all later probably tomorrow because of uh the other radio if if it gets here in time before i leave that is all right peace out for now